the Center for Ice and Climate is a, a, a center where we fo focus on climate research related to ice cores. So our group is involved in drilling deep ice cores, both from Greenland and Antarctica. And uh, then we, we, we use and we invent different methods to, to measure and observe climate from the ice cores, telling us about how was the climate for the last uh, 150,000 years, uh, how much did it storm, uh, how did the greenhouse gases change. When you go to the big ice sheets like Greenland, uh, then you have an ice sheet that's about three kilometers thick. Uh, but if you look at it from the surface, then every year you have a layer of snow falling, precipitation or accumulation. And then the next year, year a new layer comes and covers the other one. So in that way, when you drill down through the ice, first you have snow and then gradually the snow is compressed to ice. And then it's kind of layers after layers reaching further and further back in time. So in that way it is an archive of the past climate. Uh, but it tells us that uh, the warm climate period we have now, which is called the interglacial, has lasted 11,703 years. And if we go further back in time, we reach back in the, the previous glacial period. And in Greenland, uh, the coldest period in the glacial period was 25 degrees Celsius colder than the temperatures we have now. It was tremendously cold in Greenland at that time. And we can see that uh, during the glacial period, the climate could change a lot faster and more rapid than it does now. Some of the parameters we measure, they actually change over just a few years. And we can, so in that way we can see that during the glacial time, the whole atmosphere circulation could change in a few years. And uh, this is something we only see in glacial ice, but it does show that our climate system has the capability to change abruptly in a few years. And if we turn to our future, um, well, we are, right now we have the global warming and we expect the global temperatures to increase to or even more, up to 4 degrees during the next 100 years. So we're changing out of the state, our interglacial period now, into a new state that we don't know a lot about. If we're talking about a global warming of 4 degrees, we're talking about a change that has the same scale of, of temperature change on Earth between glacial periods and interglacial periods. One of the, the, the big unknowns and very debated things is, is how fast will the ice sheets melt and how much will they melt? Because this will tell us how sea level, the sea level will change, the sea level rise. And uh, I mean, it's obvious to look back in a period where we had temperatures that were, were warmer for, for several thousand years. Uh, because the period was long enough for the ice sheet to stabilize in, in that the, the, the kind of the, the side it decided to be when there was two degrees warmer globally. And uh, we believe uh, that the green ice sheet reduced its size with about 30% during this last uh, warm Eemian period. And uh, this gave, ri this gave a one to two meter sea level rise from the green ice sheet. We know from the Eemian, from, from research from, from sea level people, uh, that the sea level was actually five meters higher during the Eemian period. Uh, we know that the water was warmer. We know all the small glaciers were gone.